Hi everyone, today I'm talking about Alibaba stock, which is a stock that I've just not talked about for a while on this channel, so I thought I'd cover Alibaba stock. And it's a stock that I hold, and it's a stock that I'm potentially thinking about adding a few more shares at. I'm thinking of potentially buying this stock, if I can, under $180 and add into my position that I already hold. But it's a pretty big position that I hold as well as JD.com. And I made a few videos like this before covering why certain stocks are going to go to a certain price and a lot of those stocks have gone to them prices and I made one about Disney only a few weeks ago and it did really well so I thought I'd cover Alibaba and a few of you guys have been asking me to cover Alibaba. So today I'm going to go through why Alibaba is going to go to $300 roughly I would say in at least a two to five years. Definitely I would think it will get there before five years but, but into the I'd say two to three years range I definitely see this stock being a $300 stock. So as always guys, we'll smash that like button and we'll get stuck into it. So Alibaba is a Chinese e-commerce business. It has got a lot of sectors on that it's involved in and we'll get stuck into that in a little bit. Well, the ticker symbol for this one is Baba and it is at $194. And I do believe this is a little bit of a sleeping giant. I think this is like a little bit of a Facebook. I feel like it's been disrespected a little bit and I think it's disrespected because it is a Chinese company. I think it is a little bit of a sleeping giant and this share price alone should be above $250 right now in my opinion and I would say since 2018 is when it kind of went into its sleeping mode there hasn't really been much of action in this stock obviously we had the China trade war which hurt Alibaba which is kind of stupid really because most of its revenue does come from China so the China trade war doesn't really affect it and if you looked at the earnings when the China trade war was going on Alibaba was actually pulling out some fantastic earnings when that China trade war was happening now at the moment it is at a P of 21 and that is incredibly cheap for a growth company like this. Normally if you're talking about a growth company that's pulling out revenue and EPS growth and has a massive moat that Alibaba has right now, a P on this company would be about 40 or 50. Even if you look at something like Amazon, even higher than that. So when you look at a P of 21 for a company like this, it is super cheap way way too cheap now just to take a look at how well this company has done when we look at the EPS and revenue growth it is absolutely massive if we look at the future growth of the EPS and of the revenue growth it is expected to nearly double in only two years and going forward to a five-year range we could be looking at the EPS and revenue even tripling which is absolutely massive it has a good history too, so we're not looking at a company that is kind of going, oh look, this is what we're going to do, invest in us. You only have to look at the history of this company to realize that it does hit EPS and revenue expectation. Also with a company like this, a growth company, it is great to see a debt sheet that is absolutely fantastic. The balance sheet is a really good balance sheet. The debt has pretty much stayed flat and a lot of the equity has built up in the company as well to cover that debt. So the balance sheet has been just getting better and better over year over year. And I think cash to debt wise as well, it has about three times cash to debt. So if it really wanted to as well, it could probably pay off all its debt. So how is this company going to make money in two to five years? How are we going to make money in this company? How is the share price going to go up? So this is what Alibaba has going on. At the moment, Alibaba has its Alibaba.com website, which pretty much is a China exporter, mainly to other uh, companies in China. But basically, these is suppliers who then go sell it to businesses. So for example, there could be people that make t-shirts, for example, and they export them to wholesalers that want to maybe print on them t-shirts or to businesses that are going to go sell them on to cons consumers. And then we have the Tobayo business, which I hope I always say it right, I'm never sure. But basically that is kind of like the business that sells it to the consumer. I actually have a friend in China right now and he says he uses that website for pretty much everything. And he says the actual delivery on that is absolutely amazing as well. He says that he can order something off that website and it gets delivered within two hours. And I'm just like, what? Like I order something and it takes five days to come. It is mental. So two days is abs uh, two hours is absolutely fantastic. There is also the Tmall website they owns, and that's basically the Amazon of China, and it is able to sell a lot of brands. So it can sell like Nike on there, and all them sort of companies that we know um, so that's a really fantastic site we also have a, another website which basically is the equivalent to google adsense and 
Alibaba is to make a lot of uh, profits off the advertising side of it. We also have AliExpress, which is like Alibaba, but basically worldwide. And people from different countries like UK, Spain, France, they can order p uh, things off AliExpress. Also, you can buy single units as well. And also you can buy wholesale items if you want. It just makes it a lot more easier to import things on AliExpress compared to Alibaba. We also have Alipay with this company and Ant Financial. And basically that is a payment platform. It's kind of like Apple Pay and like PayPal. So we also have Alibaba that's in the payment industry. We also have Alibaba Cloud. And obviously that's in the cloud game with other competitors like with like Amazon and Microsoft. So it does have its own cloud play as well. And it also has other things going on in the background, a few smaller segments, but still it has uh, investments in companies that are like the Twitter version in China, the YouTube version in China, a messenger version in China. So it has loads of little industries going on past the main ones as well. So you can see that its investments, its moat is absolutely huge because it's involved in so many companies. So when we look at Alibaba and how we're gonna make money in this company and is the share price gonna go up? Well, the revenue and EPS is gonna go up and if revenue and EPS goes up, it seems like that P will drop. It'll attract people to come into this company. And as well with Alibaba, it's a very diverse company. You can see from that list, there's so many things going on with Alibaba and all of them things are growing absolutely huge. And with it being so diverse, even if one of those things, if something happens to it, it's okay because Alibaba is involved in that many more companies that all them other companies are gonna cover that one that doesn't perform. So with Alibaba, it's a massive company. It is kind of like Amazon. I would say, in my opinion, that I'd rather invest in Alibaba over Amazon at these sort of prices because it kind of has like that big moat that Amazon has. But when you look at the valuation of a 21PE and the revenue in EPS is gonna more than likely outperform Amazon's EPS and revenue, it's absolutely fantastic and it's a fantastic company. And like I say, I think this this stock right now should be $250 already. So for, I'm gonna say like it's gonna to go to $300, but in my sort of opinion that it's not too, it shouldn't be too far off here anyway. I think that in my opinion, Alibaba should be hitting a $300 price in at least two years. I think it will really soon hit that $300, $300 mark because I think it's been massively disrespected over the last few years because it is a fantastic company that's growing huge. And I think if I invest in this company, I'm definitely gonna make money on that share price going up over the next two to five years. So I thought I'd cover Alibaba for you guys today and I hope it was informative for you guys if you were looking to buy some shares in Alibaba. As always, if you could hit the like button, that'd be absolutely amazing. Subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below if you've got any investments in Alibaba. And I'll see you in the next video.